So buying things on Facebook Marketplace can be a great way to save money, even to make some extra money if you're the seller. But it's not without its downsides and its dangers. 12 Your Size of Marilyn Moritz takes a look at ways to keep it safe. Michelle Gancha is all about shopping on Facebook Marketplace. They'll have a price, but if I think that it's a little higher and then they meet me at my price, then I definitely feel like a winner. I know you can find some great deals on social media. I got this set for cheap. Some paint did wonders, but you can also end up getting scammed. So there are some ways to protect yourself and your money. First, meet in a public, well-lit location, not your home, and don't go alone. Consider a police substation. It's also wise to share your meetup plan with somebody. When it comes to payment, carrying cash is risky. Facebook Marketplace recommends a secure peer-to-peer -peer payment method like PayPal, but not all P2P apps are the same. For each of these apps, don't just assume that their default settings are ones that manage your privacy, security, and also have the best policies for helping you get your money back in case of an error. Apple Cash, Cash App, Venmo, nor Zelle reimburse users for sending money to the wrong person or sending the wrong amount. As for Michelle, she takes a peek at the seller's profile. I actually have bought a car on Facebook Marketplace. And then it was because we had people in common in the area that I felt actually more secure about buying the car from that person. You don't wanna buy a stolen car, so be sure to run a Carfax report. And remember, some scammers aren't after your money. They want your personal information, so don't overshare. Marilyn Moritz, KSAT 12 News. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.